You're the best tennis coach in the world. Coach, my serve is feeling great. Check it out. Why aren't you reaching? How do you expect to hit a good serve if you're not reaching? So just like reach? Yeah, reach up. Reach up there. Go get it. Okay. Yeah, no, you gotta extend. Extend and reach. Get up there and get it. Uh, extend! Uh, reach! Uh, yeah, that wasn't bad. In one second, I'm gonna show you a drill that makes it very clear that not extending makes your serve more consistent in tennis. But first, let's go over a few reasons why overemphasizing extension is hurting your power consistency and can even cause injury on your serve. Well, first off, it encourages this idea that if you could just get a little higher, you can start to hit down straight into the box, and that angle's just not there. You gotta be over seven feet tall before you can actually hit a straight line down into the box. So by doing this, it's just gonna make you try to get higher, which is gonna make you hit down more, which is gonna make you miss more serves into the net. Secondly, that's just on how the kinetic chain works. The body segments want to uncoil in a natural progressive order. By trying to overemphasize a particular body segment, it makes it unnatural and actually slows down your racket head speed. Lastly, and most importantly, being able to create forward rotation over your head is one of the most important concepts you have to understand on the serve. When you can create spin, you can hit harder, have a bigger acceptance window, and still be consistent. Now, to create a forward rotation, you have to be able to swing up. If you're at full extension, there's no room to brush up. So your racket actually needs to be slightly unextended in order to create forward rotation. That's why when we look at pros, we see contact on the inside of the hand. You'll notice as the racket goes up, it's on the inside of the hand, and they'll be about here making contact. Now, for a flat serve, you're gonna be at full extension. But let's be honest, if pro players are at 65% on a good day on their hard flat serve, we should all strive to be learning to hit spin on our serve. Sorry to interrupt, but if you want to serve harder and be more consistent, be sure to check out the link in the description of my serve program. It includes two detailed video analysis, a face-to-face -face video call, and unlimited email support. Let's work together to improve your serve, guaranteed, or your money back. Now the drill you want to do to get this feeling, and it also might help you unlearn if you're overextending, is to just start up at the net. Notice how I'm choked up on my racket and I have the edge of the racket leading into the ball. What I'm going to try to do is make contact with the ball as my racket is still progressing up on the inside of my hand, and I'm going to finish out in what's called the wrist watch position. So I'm going to strike the ball as my racket pronates. If I contact the ball here at full extension, that's going to be a flat serve. That's not what we want right now. We want to contact the ball as the racket's still moving from the inside of the arm to the outside. So it's going to look like this. That's how you get forward rotation. That's how you become consistent. And that's why overemphasizing extension on the serve is actually hurting your serve. If you're enjoying the content so far, please do me a huge favor, hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell so you're always updated. Now, one more thing I wanna go over before we end this video is all of this assumes you're on a continental grip and understand that you have to pronate to the hit. Most tennis players aren't there. Most tennis players bring their palm up when they try to hit the serve. Now, the truth is, if you're a palm up tennis player, you have to unextend your body to be consistent. If you try to extend when your palm's up, you have to make a wrist snap, which makes it virtually impossible to time the ball with any type of force being applied. So you can't just go from this to trying to extend. You first have to learn to use a continental grip and pronate, which the drill we just went over is also gonna help you with. But you gotta understand, when you try to look, first learn the continental grip and pronation and you haven't been doing that, your brain still wants to contact the ball low. So in that sense, yeah, you do need to be more extended with your body when you try to go from a palm up serve to a continental grip serve. Just remember, you can't extend unless you're on a continental grip and you understand pronation. That's what allows the body to have a natural progression of body segments where you're gonna be extended at the hip. 
Now it's gonna be a struggle if you are a palm up player, but you can do it. Take your time, do the drill we just did, learn the continental grip and pronation, and you're gonna improve your serve a ton over the course of your tennis career.